California is an awesome place to live. But just like any other place, it has pros and cons. So if you're thinking of moving here or even visiting, you need to know them. Oftentimes when I'm talking to people that don't know how California is, these are the comments that I get with emphasis. I could never live in California because there are too many people. You're so lucky to live in California and you have all those celebrities around. Ah! Every day is so sunny in California. Wow, I'm jealous. I hate winter. I'm moving to California. People in California are like so laid back, right? Well, folks, let me tell you about the real California. When you are here in California, unless you are in the Death Valley, you're never too far from anything. I can be at the local coffee shop in five minutes, or I can be at the top of a rolling hill in 10 minutes. A beach is no more than four hours away from the east side of California, where the mountains are, and then I can go and be wine tasting in Napa in about an hour, or Disneyland in seven hours. Now, this is from Northern California, but they have these same or similar things in Southern California too. Everything that I could possibly imagine is quite literally at my fingertips. Now, let's jump into a con, the traffic. Let me say that when we had shelter in place, I was loving our freeways. Now we're getting back to our regular commute. What took me 10 minutes with no traffic is back to my 20 minute commute during the commute hour. Basically, you can divide your hours mile per hour and half, which doubles your commute time. And that is if there is not an accident. Now on to happy thoughts. The weather! We have awesome weather. We don't have extreme humidity like the South. We are not extremely dry like Arizona. Sorry, Arizona. Because of this weather, we can surf like eight of the 12 months of the year. You might need a wetsuit, but I see those guys out there, crazies. With this wonderful weather comes the awesome recreation opportunities that we have in our state. If you're an overachiever, you could wake up in Lake Tahoe on the east side of California, snow ski for an hour, get in your car, head to the west coast, surf for maybe an hour or so, and then you can go to, let's say, Mount Diablo or another high mountain, paraglide down, or go the way that some do, which is mountain biking or hiking down. But why take the long way? Do you love roller coasters? Well, if you live in California, you're gonna need to. Occasionally, you're going to have an earthquake, but they are just a few seconds normally, but they can last longer and they can definitely do more damage. But on the bright side, we don't have hurricanes. Seriously, guys, if you think that we don't have land like other areas of the country, we do. I call California the state of all states. If you're looking for a lake, we have many. We have man-made and nature-made. You want mountains, we have the Sierra Nevada mountains, which let me tell you, if you know California history, you know the Donnie party had a heck of a time getting over them. Shh, don't tell, not everyone made it over. So they're gonna be tall mountains. We have the plains like the Midwest. This is gonna be the Central Valley part of the state. We have what I call our rainforest. Ever been to the extreme Northern California where the sun peaks out like 30 of the 365 days? It's a little bit more like Portland than California. So if you like other parts of the country, there is something similar in California. Okay, now to a con. And I bet if I had a quiz at the end of this video, this is what everyone would remember. A big con is our taxes. For this, I'm gonna tell you what my local taxes are in my area. Sales tax is almost 10%. Property tax is about one and a half percent of the purchase price a year of your home. State income taxes 
it's going to be 20 to 35 percent well that's going to include federal too but it's still that we're pretty heavily taxed we have other random taxes which don't apply to everyone gas taxes cigarette taxes which you shouldn't be smoking anyways special school assessment taxes and here are a few pretty special to our area we have a special lane on the freeway that they're building right now. You can travel in it, and they think it's the road less traveled, but you're gonna pay more to use this special lane. It's gonna be around $5 for five miles during commute traffic. Here in Northern California, you wanna cross a bridge? Well, it's gonna cost you about $6 for a round trip. Everyone thinks of movie stars and palm trees and the Golden Gate Bridge when they think of California. But honestly, when it comes to landmass, one of our primary producers is agriculture. More than half of the country's vegetables, fruits, and nuts are grown right here in California. In fact, did you know that California is the top dairy state? I bet that you would imagine it would be the home of the cheese heads in Green Bay, Wisconsin, but nope, sorry. If you go to any of the valleys of Northern California, there is a ton of agriculture. You're going to see cows, horses, farm life, sunsets, some smog, and manure. Okay, let's tackle another con, the high cost of living. It is high here. At least that's what they tell me. I'm just used to it. Everything is priced higher here in California. The gas, the houses, the rent, the food. If you live in San Francisco, you can get a two bedroom condo for about $900,000 if you're lucky. How much house will you get in Wisconsin for that price? Oh, let's just not even talk about it. But honestly, this is more in the big cities. If you're gonna move to one of the valleys in California, these prices that I'm talking about, they're going to be a little bit lower. But along with the higher cost of living, we have a lot of jobs. If you want a tech job, you're gonna head to Northern California in Silicon Valley or San Francisco. If you wanna be part of a television or movie type of person, you're gonna go to SoCal where they have Hollywood and the beaches. There are lots of major corporations based out of California, so finding a job is not impossible. So along with the negative comes positives, and along with the positive comes negatives. No state is perfect. Just like a home buyer, you find the best house that matches your personality, and you settle there. I hope that you enjoyed my video, and Will you subscribe to my channel right there? My name is Casey Serafino Lee and I am a real estate agent in the San Francisco Bay Area. If I can help you, even if you aren't looking in the Bay Area, I would love to help point you in the right direction. My information is in the description below. If you liked this video, you might like this video or this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel here. See you in the next one.